So here we are again in the aftermath of another school shooting, another terrible, terrible tragedy. And we gotta do something. We really do, we have to do something. Too many times this has happened and we've, we've used it for political grandstanding and nothing has happened. In the course of the last few days, I've heard several politicians and seen several people get up and say, we need to do something, we need to do something. And I agree, we do need to do something. But what they're talking about is they're saying we need gun control. That's all they're saying. Why don't we actually do something that the politicians can pull off without challenging our U.S. Constitution? Why don't we do something that they can actually do? So you tell me, how do we protect our judges? How do we protect our senators? How do we protect our representatives? You guessed it, armed security. How many times have you been able to walk into a courthouse or a federal building and not went through metal detectors, through electronic locks, had armed security there at the front door waiting on you? You can't even go into a Smithsonian Museum with a pocket knife. So you tell me who it looks like we prioritize protecting, politicians or our kids? It's funny how we can just $40 billion for Ukraine in the blink of an eye, but when something happens to our kids, we can't come up with any funding for security for our own children. Think of how far that $40 billion could have went towards protecting your kid. So tell me why it is that there's never mass shootings in courthouses. Why are there never mass shootings in government buildings? Deterrence. You don't even have to use the weapons that are inside those buildings because the crazies, the nut jobs that are planning on going out with a bang, don't go there. They know it's a hardened building. They know somebody in there can shoot back. I'd bet my last paycheck that the crazies have more motive to go after the people inside courthouses and government buildings than they do schools. They just know they can't. Deterrence is always the best line of defense. Now, I personally do believe that every teacher should have the option to conceal carry with training, of course, inside the school at their jobs. Apparently, schools are high target areas. They should have the ability to protect themselves. Now, I don't think that should be mandated on teachers, and I don't think that it should be a federal decision. That should definitely be left to the states and local areas where your children attend school and your voice counts in the vote. Now, what I am saying is we definitely need more security at the entries of our schools and we need armed security inside the schools, however that may be. Why is it you think the schools are targeted for mass shootings? It's not because the kids did anything to these shooters, it's because they are easy targets, like I said. And inside those schools, there is no way to immediately defend themselves. There's none. So since one side wants to blame gun owners and say that we don't care about the kids because we don't, we don't believe in assault weapons bans, if we don't believe in gun control, that it's gonna fix anything. How about this? How about if you don't support securing our schools and providing security inside of our schools, then you care more about an anti-gun agenda than you do the lives of the kids. Stop standing on the graves of children to support your tyrannical views. So how about we call our senators, we call our representatives and we let them know, hey, if we can spend $40 billion on lives in Ukraine, we can spend money on our own children's lives right here in the US. Get a hold of your local representatives and let them know we're tired of this and we're not falling for the propaganda of this is all about gun control anymore. It's time to stop the school shootings and protect our kids.